Good evening, my farming friends. How the heck are you today? Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Glad you could be here. Um, I am picking up some grass fields. We uh, went around the uh, yard here, the fields, and we did a bunch of mowing and picked up a bunch of grass fields because I want to make some more sausage rolls. So I went down to the dealership and I leased this um, Anderson Bill Stecker trailer. Kind of fancy, isn't it? I kind of like it. I think it's like the first time I've ever used this. So I'm just picking them up and we're going to bring them over to the sausage roll and then I can stop, dump them in there and continue to make that. So I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, I actually, oh crap, one's in the field here. Well, look out little plants. Ah, they're so tiny that they'll, uh, they'll come back. They will come back. But I kind of like this thing. It's, it's a little bit different. Um, I like the animations. It's kind of, kind of snazzy. Anyways, so yeah, that's kind of my plan. Pick up all these grass bales, drop them over by the sausage roll, and then I can start filling that thing up again. I'm kind of liking that thing. And then we should be ready for cows. Get some cows on the farm. Hey, happy sheep. We have happy sheep. Look at those fine and outstanding sheep. I tell you what, the other day I caught Sophie down there in the uh, sheep pen. Just uh, playing with the sheep. Yeah, it's okay. She, she, she's a friendly, she's an animal friendly person. Let's put it that way. Animal friendly person. So I walked down there and said, hey, Sophie, this. And then she kind of laughed and said, I'm nuts. But anyways, that's the story and I'm sticking to it. Um, let's see. So other than that, we're kind of caught up. I, you know, the soybean field that we just got done harvesting, we got that put into the, um, the bin because according to our rotation, we need to put oats and according to the, you know, we can start planting oats right now. So maybe we'll get that field taken care of and get some oats planted in there. That wouldn't be too shabby. Not too shabby of an idea. Let's see. Did I get them all over here? I got them all over here. Okie dokie then. Um, I'm still a little worried about the, um, the clover down south here because that thing is still not uh, ready to go yet. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe the second day of autumn that will be ready. So we can get that taken care of. The silage in the bunker is still fermenting, so that's a good sign. Tomorrow morning will be the big day. Tomorrow morning is the big day. We're going to sit down. I've had, I tell you what, news got around that we were interested in uh, taking on some investors into the farm and operation here and expanding. And I have been just inundated with requests and phone calls. I mean, I can't imagine people just wanting to throw their money around, but, but they actually, <laughs> but they actually do. Uh, I even got a good call from my buddy across the pond over there in Meadow Grove, Adrian. He said, hey, I'll, I'll, um, I'll invest a little bit. West Virginia Joe, he wants to become a major partner. So he's even offering $800,000. I'm like, holy buckets. That's a lot of money. I don't know if this farm can generate enough to justify that, but we'll have to think about that. So we're having a little uh, meeting. We're going to do a little, um, where they do those things, you know, on the internet where you get on there and you do a FaceTime, face chat. I don't have an iPhone. I'm not an iPhone guy. So we have to get on the computer, and I can't remember the website that I have to go on there and do that. But that's kind of the plan. So we'll see what happens tomorrow morning. We will see what happens tomorrow morning. Either we are going to be uh, just kind of hanging out here by ourselves doing the same thing, or we will um, possibly do some major expansion. But I did put one stipulation on all these investors. I said, nope, we're not, we're not, going, we're not going big machinery stuff. We, we're, we're sticking to the, um, the older stuff. Every once in a while, we can rent ourselves a little... Um, fancy tool like this just because it's getting kind of late into the evening i mean look at that it, it's the the sun is going to be sitting here soon and i wanted to get these picked up and i'm going to work into the night hours putting them into the sausage roll so we'll be ready to go tomorrow morning and then i think tomorrow we'll probably get some oats planted in that field we'll do that and um, we'll see what are the the other fields how they progress because we don't have anything you know these are just been planted not too long ago so i'm thinking with our weather and our forecast we might be sitting pretty good Pretty good in that department. The other thing I do, I do need to do tomorrow morning, we get, we have to go do it, is a truck is coming to haul our um, our wood and our pallets away. So we're going to make a little bit of money doing that. So I got to go up there and get that truck loaded. And I'm hoping, man, I tell you what, I have to run a forklift. And I, I kind of suck. I'm not a, I'm not a very good fork, forklift operator, but at least I don't get it stuck, though. That's, that's the main thing. I don't get it stuck, but I'm just not very good at the uh, forklift controls. But we'll get that truck loaded up, and he can be on his way, and we'll get a little bit of money for that. I, I don't know exactly how much money off the top of my head, but we'll get something for it. I think it's, you know, I think it's right around the thirty thousand dollar range for the value of the um, the lumber and the pallets. So we'll just kind of go with it. And uh, hey, it was a fun experience. The uh, sawmill—they were nice enough to uh, say, "Hey, you guys should check this out." 
So, I mean, we had, we had some fun with it. Let's see, is that it? Hey, look at that. We are full of bales. 25 bales, right? 24 bales. 24 bales. So we are full. So let's head back down here and drop these off. And I think maybe Sophie will walk down and she can start putting them into the um, sausage roll maker. And we'll kind of go from there. But, um, yeah, this is working out pretty good. I'm surprised how many grass bales we got out of all that little border grass. You know, we don't, it's not fertilized. It doesn't really count anything. But we might as well mow it since it's there. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern? Okie dokie. I think we'll just back this up alongside here. No sense uh, making more work for myself by having to uh, drive across the courtyard here, picking up the bales. We can just, and I want to leave enough room so I can uh, get to the end there and then move over the roll um, over one. So let's see, is that going to be enough room here? How's this going to work now? Yeah, we'll unload the, boy, is the nighttime coming on. I got to get my lights on here so I can see what's going on. Look at that. Look at that. That is fancy chickens. Oh, we should check on the animals real quick. Shouldn't have changed any. Um, sheep are still good in the uh, barn. Sheep are still good in the pasture. And the horses. Oh, look at the horses. Oh, we don't have chickens yet. Oh, yeah, we're waiting for the load of chickens. Um, golf cart jockey across the pond there in Starrotonville City. Uh, brought up the possibility of, um, of importing us some fancy um, European racing chickens. So I'm kind of interested to see how that's going to turn out. But I haven't uh, heard exactly from him yet to a final offer. But maybe we'll get some chickens. And then, of course, the uh, the old guy, the, the tragic chicken death. Um, he had the chickens that we bought. And we're going to get them shipped over. So we should have a bunch of chickens on the go. And we're going to need to get wheat or barley. And I'm pretty sure that I don't have any. Uh, at the top of my head, I, no, I don't have any wheat, barley for the chickens. I have a bunch of oats, but I don't have wheat, barley. So you might have to figure out something in um, in that department and kind of go from there. Boy, with these center windows, it gets it, you know it gets dark in a hurry <laughs> from the inside. Holy buckets! Anyway, so yeah, so, hey, I got a stack of tires there. I should do something with them. They have a bomb fire here. Burn tires, big black smoke. Yeah. What do you do? Is you get somebody to come over and help you with the project, and then you start the tires on fire, and then say, "Oh, I gotta go for a second. Yeah, you watch the fire for me." So if anybody comes, they can just get that guy in trouble. Oh, anyways. Anyways, every light in the house is on. I tell you what, Sophie, I tell you what, she's got a flashlight on top of her head and every light in the house is on. The other thing about Sophie, when it comes sleeping time, I mean, she opens the window at night and it could be butt cold outside and then has a fan run at the same time too. I mean, it's terrible. I get like, I have to go and put my long underwear on, my snow suit, my snow boots, and uh, just to sleep at night. It's just terrible. Absolutely terrible. So, I wonder how many bales out here I have left. Um, looks like there might be some. Well, there's one right there. Let's get that one. Come on, bale. Oh, that's some good-looking hemp right there. I, I, I have, I, I've installed security cameras around the hemp field because people are coming at a certain growth stage and then saying, hey, uh, we want your hemp. So, I've had to do that. Yeah, the uh, local police department, they've already arrested a couple people. A couple of young kids. Yep, little potheads. Yep. It doesn't bother me any. You stay away from my hemp. That's my hemp. Hey, look out, bird. Hey, see. Bale here. Oh, we got bales over there. So, oh, bale up here. Hey, look at that. Bales all over the place for crying out loud. Anyways, um, let me finish this up. I'll see how many bales I end up with. And then um, probably go in, have myself a bourbon, and uh, get up refreshed in the morning for our big meeting to see where this farm is going to go. Whoa, crap, there's one here, too. Um, oh, easy does it. Hey, look at that. It's a nice bale trailer. And, I, and like I said, I wanted to get this all done before night so I don't have to pay an extra daily fee for it. It's like 2600 bucks, something like that, 3600 bucks to rent this puppy. So I figured that was, you know, just because of time. I don't, I don't have time to go out here and uh, pick up all these bales. So I wanted to make it easy for myself. So we did spend a little bit of money of that, 28000 bucks in the bank. We're still not doing too bad. I'm not worried about it because we have actually, you know, as it stands right now, we have no debt, and we're going to have that load of um, pallets and uh, lumber that is going to be uh, shipped out on the truck that's up there waiting for us. So other than that, I'm not worried about it. And then overnight, we should have some horse income. I'm kind of excited about that. I mean, we, we've been making some good money on horses, and I'm thinking that I'm going to start making the advertisement to take care of some more, horse, more horses. So we, we have all the supplies. I mean, we have 47,000 liters of oats. We've got uh, plenty of hay. 
So we're, we're set. We're good to go in that department. Let's see. I thought those were bales. Those are not bales. Those are weeds over there. I don't own that field over there, so I couldn't, I couldn't mow that part. But we'll see here when I get this all wrapped up, and we'll see what time it gets to be, and uh, go from there. So, surprisingly, we got um, 34 grass bales out of that. Let's just jump in here make sure this thing is up and running here. There we go. Okie dokie. Get the old um, Briggs and Stratton, little haunted whatever it is, haunted generator, up and running. Uh, or, I should say, yeah, a little generator. Fire that puppy up. We'll grab some um, grass bales. And I'm going to sit here for the rest of the night and make sure that all these bales are in there and wrapped. Because we're, you know, because we cut them earlier, so we've we've lost some volume to them, and I don't want to um, to lose any more. So I want to be able to keep that um, as good as I as big as I can. Let's see. Let's get the Massey out of the way here. Um, oh, fine. Two sixty five tracker. Get this thing out of. Oh crap! Yeah, the uh, baler is trying to push up against the Massey. Let's just park it over here. This would be good for now right here underneath this fine and outstanding tree. There you go. And we can keep this going. I think I'm going to make the first... Well, I should be able to get to the end of the bunker here, I think. And then we'll start another run and uh, have all kinds of good sausage bales. Silage bales. Uh, yeah, see, 3,500 liters. It's got to um, ferment to make silage. But we, we lost some capacity. And it doesn't take very long for that grass to, um, to lose... It's uh, consistency, whatever you want to call it, but it is what it is. Nothing, nothing we can do about it. You know, we can't just uh, get it all done in one day, which is going to kind of stink because instead of being, oops, I need the bail back. Come here, bail. Stupid bail. Stupid bail. Stupid chickens. Um, instead of having you know a four thousand dollar, four thousand dollar, four thousand liter bail each, um, we're going to have some odd ones. So. Hopefully when it comes time to make like TMR and stuff like that, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Um, ooh, that one went in there kind of nice. I was all mess screwed up with that one. But anyways, yeah, that's what's kind of going on here. I'm going to finish this tonight. It's going to, it's going to take me a while. I'll be here for quite a while, but um, it's, not, it's not so bad. Yeah, it's not so bad. Sophie will have a bacon sandwich and a bourbon ready for me. Yeah, I'm kind of into the bourbon now for some reason. I don't know why. Um, absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. I don't know who to blame on that one. But I'm going to blame somebody because it's certainly not my fault. Um, there we go. Oh, look at that. Perfect. I like it. I like it. Watch over the wall there, tractor. Nice Ford tractor. And then tomorrow after we have our meeting and discuss what the future plan of the farm is, uh, I need to get up to Nicholson Farm Shop Machinery and Repair because I do want to look at that 1550 combine. I think that if we do the expansion there, we're going to need, we're going to need a, second, a second thrasher. And that might be the uh, perfect, the perfect option for us. Because right off the bat, we'd have so much harvesting to do. We had that huge hemp field up there to do. We'd have um, some millet to do. We'd have some, and then we have some, some vegetables. So I don't know, that's, that's kind of the only downfall because I'm not too excited about doing the vegetables because we'd have to rent some um, fancy dancy equipment for that. I'm certainly not gonna buy them because I don't know if I would uh, continue with that. I don't know, hemp and cotton seem to be kind of our, um, our cash crop. We don't need to get too, Two into it. Of course, on top of that, we do have barley, oats, soybeans. So, you know, we are a multifaceted farming operation here. That's right. We don't discriminate against crops. Not at all. But anyways, I'm going to finish this up for the evening, and I will see you bright and early in the morning. I might be up at the sawmill getting that um, flatbed loaded and get him underway. That's kind of what I'm thinking. But other than that, um, you guys have yourself a great night. And whoa, jeepers, creepers, I almost... Get the, uh, I gotta slow down here. Uh, I gotta slow down. I, first of all, I took all, almost took out the uh, sausage bale wrapper. Oh, come on, Bale. No, you get back in there. You're not coming with me, Bale. I brought you here for a reason. Stay. Good, Bale. Then I almost ran into the silage bunker. Oh, I, I, got, I, got, I need a bacon sandwich. Good morning, my farm and friends. It is 741 in the morning. I should be a radio DJ. I should be. Hey, everybody, it's 741. You are listening to KQRS. Yes. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know where that came from. Welcome to the Bob and Dan Show. Anyways, it is 
a beautiful morning. The robots are working hard. They are making pallets like crazy. Look at them go. The tiger stripe robot. Man, that guy's uh, that guy's like on, uh, well, he's been drinking. Yeah, he's drinking. Anyways, we are up at the sawmill. I did get the semi loaded. The truck driver is here. He is all loaded. He is just going to get tarped down, strapped down, and he will hit the road. So we will have some income with the uh, lumber and pallets that we are producing. Now, for full disclosure, I wanted to load this trailer in the proper way, but the truck driver said, no, you're doing it my way. So he made me load it like this. Trust me, I would have never have done it like this, but he insisted. I mean, he's driving. So he... <laughs> He made the rules, and he is off like a herd of turtles. So anyway, so he's going to get going. He's probably doing his logbook, getting things squared away. So we have that load of pallets that we have been making, along with uh, finished boards. Now, we did have a little extra, and I decided to keep some because I uh, thought maybe I could have a little deck project or something. But it is the, the factory is still going. I mean, we, are still, we still have logs in there, and we are making some um, finished boards there. And the ends over here go to make the pallets. So, I mean, we're, we're still going. Now, here's the plus side to all of this is that we get a, um, a bonus, like, like, a, like a byproduct. We get some sawdust over here so we can load this up and sell that. That's why I brought up, holy buckets, look at that. We got sawdust all over the floor. Actually, wood chips, I guess. Wood chips is the proper name. So I brought the Chevy flatbed up this morning and the uh, tipper trailer. So we can load up the uh, wood chips and sell them. So that's that's a plus. Now, the sawmill did put in a little expansion over here. So I think in the future they're wanting us to do some um, some more logging for them. So they install this other building, and what this is going to produce is um, it's going to produce board wood pallets, wood chips, and resin. So this is kind of exciting. A new little production line in the sawmill here. I'm going to sneak in here. They, they don't mind. We're good friends up here. So we're making some, um, they call it board wood pallet right over here. Kind of a different kind of uh, uh, lumber. So we got that going on here. So that is busy going right now. And then, of course, we, uh, <laughs> we also uh, produce resin with this. Yes, look at that. Pure resin, Coggin pure resin. So we have that byproduct. And then uh, wood chips would come out of here. So right now there's actually 8,000 liters of wood chips in there. Um, it's also it takes straw, so we have to provide straw up here. There's still 9,799 liters of straw in there, and I, I don't know if we're out of lumber. Let's see. Let's take a look. Quick gander. Oh yeah, so they still have 18,285 liters of. Uh, is that 182? What does that say? Uh, 182,000. Holy buckets! The sawmill has been busy. Now this is not really our stuff yet because we haven't really. Um, contributed to this process but we're kind of we're kind of managing it so i'm kind of excited about that now i, I bet that we are full of resin so production have stops so we're probably gonna have to get the resin out of here and uh i suppose we'll have to get another truckload in there but in the meantime let's um let's load up our wood chips that's, that's actually a, a bonus for us that's actually more money in the bank for us now if you look in the upper right hand corner you see the bank balance right now is three hundred and thirty eight thousand nine hundred fifty six bucks yep we had our little uh, shindig this morning uh, on uh, video chat, and here's I'm going to kind of go through it as we um, as we get going. But I'm going to park the trailer over here, hop into the Volvo um, wheel loader, and we'll load up the wood chips and see what we can come up with because that's actually our money. But we had we we had a meeting. We talked it over. Uh, everybody that was interested in um, investing in the farming operation here in Rustic Acres. Uh, they were all involved, and we came to an agreement. We have a breakdown, and I, I think it's—I think it's going to be good. I think it is going to be good. So let me just hop into here. We're going to load up some wood chips. So, anyways, West Virginia Joe, all the way from West Virginia, he is going to come and he is going to farm with us. He invested the most. So, basically, what he did is he bought a 35% share in Rustic Acres Farm. So he invested 800,000 bucks. I mean, my goodness, man. That's, well, am I stuck in the door there? That's a lot of money. 800,000 smackers. So he invested that. And then uh, my good buddy Raymond, who actually works for me, he said, I want to get involved in this. So he invested himself. I mean, his hard earned hard, hard money. Apparently, I'm paying him too much or something because uh, he invested 100,000 bucks. And then my good buddy Adrian, all the way from across the pond, I told him my, uh, my plans. And he said, hey, 
That sounds like a great idea. I want to be a silent... I'm stuck in the door for crying out loud. Let's get out of the door. I want to be a silent partner. So he invested $100,000. So now Adrian, he owns 5% stake in Rustic Acres. Uh, West Virginia Joe now owns 35% and Raymond owes 5% as well. So 35, 5, and 5. So if you total up the number, that's 35, that's that's 45, 45 going once, going twice, going twice, so $45,000. Yeah, so 45% of Rustic Acres is now in the hands of um, scoundrels. So, but I'm still the majority owner. I am still the majority owner. So they invested uh, $1 million and... Uh, yeah, they invested $1 million. And then on top of that, I put some land up as collateral with my bud, my good buddy Galeric. And he put in $100,000. Oh, what in the world? Man, drive the wheel loader, will you, for crying out loud. You're all over the road. You're in the door. I mean, it's like you've been drinking bourbon or something. So he gave me a loan of $100,000, and I put Field 16 up as collateral for him. So that's okay. I mean, that, that, that's all going to work. And so that's $1,100,000. I put in $1 million myself. So if you go to the bank, I now have a debt of $1 million. So with all that said, with all that money invested into the farm, we did purchase. We did. We did. We're all in. I mean, it's, it's game on, folks. We went all in. And right now, so we have purchased, if you go to the land, 43. This is the big hemp field up here for $803,000. Plus we purchased... Um, Field 10. Now, I have the numbers here. It's not that important, but um, let's see. We spent 814770 bucks on the lower portion. That would be field 10, 35, 34, and 33, along with the placeable. The biggest portion of that, believe it or not, was uh, field 33 at $200,000. So, and then we spent um, field 43 up here. We spent uh, 803140 on that. And plus, here's the bonus. Down here on Field 33, they have a tree sapling business called the Bumschule. So we also purchased that for 42500 So we're all in. I mean, we are we are all in big debt. We have, man, I got to quit looking at the building. Uh, I would love to go in cab, but it I, I, I float upside down. It's like, it's like a gravity chamber. Uh, it's kind of hard for me <laughs> to operate the Volvo upside down. So otherwise, I would just do that. Look at that, more building. Uh, I'm Okay, now I'm even giving myself a freaking headache. Anyways, so what I'm going to do with this, there is something screwy going on here inside this building. I mean, I'm all over the place. Anyways, so we have 18,016 liters of wood chips in this in this wheel loader. Let's go and dump this off and see what we get for this. I'm, I'm going to be kind of surprised. So, with all that said, with all that said, my, my good friends, we, um, we still have money in the bank, but there's a reason for it. Whoa, let's go this way. Wood chips is this way. There's a reason for it, because I want to spend 148701 bucks right off the bat. I have some equipment down at Nicholson Farm Shop Machinery and Repair that I want to um, part ways with. So, we have that. Look at that. 11355 bucks for a load of wood chips. Man, that is outstanding. It, it don't get any better than that. It does not get any better than that. Holy buckets, we're going to even have more with that um, that load. If I could work the camera and I could drive straight, uh, this, would, this would be working out pretty darn good here. So we'll park this back up here. The uh, sawmill operation is still up and running, so we'll have to come back up here and check it and move some pallets around here in the near future. I'm not going to worry about that little pile on the floor because it's still going. So let's... Um, Turn that off. We'll park that. The semi guy, he's all ready to go. I don't know yet what we're going to make on that load, but I'm kind of excited about that. I, I If we made over $30,000 on that load, that would be okay. Come on, get, in the, get into the truck. Well, that's one way of, of doing it. I mean, just, just throw the damn pickup around. I'm sorry about that. Um, <laughs> my bad. I, no, nobody saw that. Just, just ignore that. Uh, you know, I hate that mod. I, I really do, but sometimes when you're in a pinch, it uh, comes in handy. So, um, yeah, just just go with it, people. Just go with it. It's been, it's been a long day. It's been a long, long day. But anyways, we are going to um, sell this and see what we get. Now, I did get all the, um, all the grass bills that we were working on last night. I got them um, taken care of and situated. Let's see, let's sell this. So we're going to go in that department. We had 34 bales. Um, off that field, so they are all in the sausage roll, ready to be fermented. So we, I, I think we're set. We're set for cows. We are set for cows. And look at that nine, 
Wait a minute. We got more for the bucket load than we did for the trailer load? That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. So what I'm going to do is we're set up to go here. The, the semi is loaded. The truck driver is going to take off and go to wherever that goes. And uh, we'll be good in that department. We will have to get up here and move some resin for the sawmill. And then we can start doing the log operation up here. So I'm kind of looking forward to that and uh, see what kind of money that brings in for us. So we have that. But anyways, on to the new stuff. So <sighs> take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Anyways, I hope you're having a great Saturday. Are you having a great Saturday? I hope you're having a great Saturday. Um, it was pretty awesome. I was watching uh, Tiny was streaming tonight and Six Wheeling was streaming. That was awesome. Absolutely awesome stuff. Had a good time there. The, the rain here. And the, whoa! I think I did a Dukes Hazard there. Um, the rain is still falling. And it just, it, it, it's really putting a damper on things. And it's getting a little bit old. But, um, eh, you know what? Live and let live. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head to Nicholson Farm Shop Machinery and Repair. I'm going to take it right here. And I'm going to show you the equipment that I am going to purchase. I'm actually going to purchase uh, one, two, three, four things. Four things for the farm. So the money will go down. So after I purchase the equipment that I want to get for the future expansion of um, Rustic Acres here, I'll probably end up, you know what, I could... You know, I, I still, I actually, I, I, I'm going to have more money than I thought I was going to have, but I want to keep a little bit of a reserve. So what I think I'm going to do is, where am I? Oh, here I am. Uh, I think I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is we have a lot of fields to harvest, and we have um, a couple fields to get planted yet. So with that, any income that we get from, whoa, the buckets, that's a dead end road. Where am I? Where in the world? Nicholson. Where did you go? Oh, crap, he's over there. Uh, well, hmm. You know what? I was just thinking, there should be a road through here. Um, <laughs> right across the Nicholson Farm Shop Machine Repair. If there isn't, there should be. And I know there isn't, but I'm telling you what, there... Oh, did you see that? I kind of hovered. Uh, that was kind of cool. Anyways, it's, it's like I said, it's it, I've been working late at night. I, I got basically no sleep. I was doing sausage bales silage bales in the sausage roll all night long and then got up this morning to get that semi loaded for that stuff so i i tell you what i've been busy i have been busy but anyways let's see let's park that there that's a that's a nice looking truck and hey tractor up in the rafters so here's what i want to purchase first things first because that we purchased um take a quick gander at that oh thank you very much for saving so basically what we did is we purchased five fields down here, plus the, uh, I'm, I'm probably saying this wrong, somebody correct me, Baumschule, Baumschule. Uh, it's a tree sapling uh, production facility, and like, kind of like a little farmer's market kind of thing. So we also purchased that, that's right here at the end of 33. And then um, 43 up here, which is the hemp. So that needs to be harvested, and all these fields need to be harvested as well. We do have a, um, a millet field. We have a spelt field on 34. We have a lettuce field on 35. And we have an onion field on 33. So basically, two for the combine, plus the hemp up here will be three for the combine. And then two, we're going to have to lease a harvester for 35 and 33. So what I'm thinking is we're going to harvest all six of these fields. And the income that's generated from these fields, of course, 35% of it will have to go to West Virginia Joe, 5% will go to Raymond, and 5% will go to Adrian. So I kind of have to keep track of that. But I, I, I Sophie, Sophie, this is taking care of um, the accounting on this, and she's pretty good at that. So I'll we'll have to keep track of that. But we're going to sell it all. And because if you look at the, uh, if you look at the economy page, um, everything except hemp, I should say. Because hemp, um, let's get down here to hemp. Where is hemp? Hemp, here hemp. Uh, well, hemp, highest right now. Spelt, I mean, it's kind of the highest. Uh, we also have millet, you know, it's right up there. We have lettuce, is up right up there, and onion. So basically, I don't think any reason to keep on to that product in store. So with that said, uh, we need to buy a new combine. We need to get a new combine, Nicholson Farm Shop Machinery Repair. My good buddy. He's got a John Deere 1550. Look at this. This is this is an outstanding combine. And believe it or not, uh, I was talking to my good buddy, Six Wheeling. Uh, this is the first combine that I ever drove. It's a John Deere 1550. I, I mean, it's a nice one. It's a, it's a nice one. Um, 
clean on the inside, tinted windows. Everything comes with tinted windows. Have you noticed that lately? So we have that. So I'm going to purchase that. That is $68,000 with the header is $12,000. So we got that. And then I've always wanted it. I am going to purchase the John Deere 4240. And with it, I am going to purchase this Case International. Uh, what do they call it? They call it a, um, oh, crap. This is a roll crop planter because I got rid of the other roll crop planter. So I want to purchase this thing. Um, there's a number on here, 90. Oh, let's go into the catalog and take a look. I forgot. Planters, it's the um, Case 9, 5, 950 Cyclo, 5,000 bucks. I mean, you can't beat that 5,000 bucks. 5,000 bucks. Yeah, so we have that. So the combine, the 4240, the Case roll crop planter. And then just because I can and I have some money left over, I am going to purchase this, the an old John Deere 7520 four-wheel drive. This will be the workhorse of the farm. And, and that was the stipulation that I had with everything. I said, hey, buddy, we are, you know, if you want to invest, we're going to invest, but we're not, we're not going big time. We're, we're, we're going to stick to um, the good use quality machinery. So I do have that up here. Let's, I'm going to take the, um, the 1550. I'm going to take this puppy. And we're going to head up to the hemp field, and we're going to get this started up. I think, well, we probably should not let Raymond, John, or Sophie into the hemp field. So I'm thinking we probably should put Elbert in the combine doing the hemp because if Sophie or Raymond or John were doing it, man, they, they wouldn't get any combine done. They'd, they'd be out back pretending it's a bathroom break and uh, getting a little crazy. So we'll have Elbert come up, and he's going to help us up with that. And then... Um, we probably need to see which way is the best way to go to that um, hemp field. Let's see. I want to go out here. We'll go out here and then take a uh, right, go up to, and take a left. We'll probably do that. So get up there, and we'll get this thing fired up. We'll try the hemp product up there, and we're going to sell everything. And then I need to um, get the other combine, the Massey Ferguson. We'll probably get that started on uh, either the spelt or the millet, and we'll get that underway. And then I need to go down to the dealership, and we need to rent a um, lettuce and an onion harvester. So, oh my God, we got all kinds of we got, we got, we got all kinds of things things to do. But like I said, everything is going to be sold right away, and I I gotta try to get my um, my uh, one million dollar debt. I gotta get that taken care of as fast as I can. But and I still owe Nicholson Farm here one hundred and forty eight thousand seven hundred and one bucks. So I have to delete that out of the checkbook when I pay him. But, you know, I was thinking about it. When we left last night, I think we had 26000 And this morning, we, we had an income. We had an income of over 6000 bucks on the horses. So that's, that's outstanding. And then we had $2,500 um, property income. So I don't know where that came from. But we're, we're actually making money. and We're not actually going in debt. So that's kind of nice. But, um, yeah, it's all good. Anyways, let's get to the hemp field. Let's get the combine fired up, the new 1550. And uh, we'll kind of go from there.
I tell you what, things are progressing. Good. I tell you what, I was just talking to um, Albert up there in the uh, new John Deere 1550 combine. He's already dumped four times and hasn't made one round yet. I mean, I'm telling you, we are going to yield big bucks off that hemp. So, the Massey Ferguson, so he is continuing up there. I brought the Massey Ferguson down to the Miller Field, and Sophie is operating that combine as I speak. Now, let's think about it. I only have one truck. So, I came back up here to Nicholson Farm Shop Machine and Repair, and he had this old Mac. Nice. Look at this. This is, this is an awesome, awesome truck. 105, he's asking for this. And then on top of that, we can get a Travis end up. This is an awesome end up. Wait till you see this end up. And he is asking 35000 for this. Got to write a license plate, Nicholson. Um, come on, man. I, I want some Missouri license plates on there, big guy. But anyways, awesome, awesome mod by Dietz. I think it's Dietz Modding. I looked up their Facebook. I If I, if I remember right, I'm going to put their um, Facebook page on the description of this video. Yeah, this, and they also um, did a Peterbilt feed mixer. I'm going to show you that right now because I'm going to use this on, uh, I might use this on here and Lone Oak. Um, let's see. Mixer, mixer wagons. Because I think this thing is just cool. Uh, is it up here? Is it in animals or is it in, no, it must just be in, no, it's in, um, oh, it must just be just in trucks. I thought it, maybe it was in the uh, animal part of it. Uh, oh, crap, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, I know I enabled it. It's a uh, Peterbilt mixer truck. Um, okay, now where did it go? Um, I could have swore it was another. Oh, here it is. Under drivable animals. Yes, a uh, Peterbilt mixer truck, the commercial feed mixer. This is uh, 18,000 liters, and I've, I've, I've done it. I, I experimented with it. It's awesome. So, yeah, so that and this Travis trailer, and I love the way this the animation does work. So, anyways, enough of that said. 140,000 bucks, and i got to go in and write him another check for, for 140,000 bucks. But we need a truck. We need a truck. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this down. I'm going to unload. I am going to unload the Massey on the millet field. And then we'll probably go and sell that. And then I'm going to take this up to the hemp field because the hemp is the yield on the hemp field is outrageous. And uh, kind of go from there. And we are off. Like a Look at that. Right back down to 40000 bucks in the bank. I, it's, it's, um, it's one of those things. You love it or you hate it. But it's just kind of, you know, it's the way it all worked out. We do have some investors. So keep in mind, though, that 45% uh, of what we make is going to have to be paid in, uh, I don't know if you want to call it dividends or profit to the new investors. So we'll, have, we'll keep track of everything we sell. I'm going to keep track and it's going to have to be paid out to them. So I don't get the whole chunk and I'm still a million dollars in debt. But I think, and I'm, I'm just kind of, I'm betting, I am making a bet that um, it's all going to work out because that hemp field, I am excited to see what that hemp field is going to uh, bring in and profit because man the yields are absolutely awesome um if you happen to silence me drive by here when we purchased all these uh, parcels of land from the deceased uh, chicken hack guy um right here at the uh, corner of this field and this is a um let's see this is field 33 it's a long field and this happens to be what is this our um Onion field. So we got to combine these onions. But right here they have a uh, tree sampling uh, business. Now this guy was German. So a lot of the stuff is in German. But basically here's how it works. We, we put in water. We put in manure. And we put in seeds. And we can uh, grow tree saplings and sell them. So this is absolutely awesome. And he's got some of it up and running. He's got some manure in there. Um, we've already produced... 801 uh, liters of tree seed sapling so I, I love it i absolutely love it wait no let's see that's that's a seed so we have 801 liters of seed in there this is our manure mist and golf cart jockey informed because of the wise man that he is that's kind of stands for crap um and then of course we're going to get our tree saplings here and hopefully they when it produces enough it produces uh, something so yeah, so this is open for business. So yeah, that's kind of a neat little addition to this. That was forty-two thousand bucks we paid for that information. 
You betcha. So we have that. We have a Mack truck. I tell you what, you know, being that we had now brought on partners and we are once again in heavy, heavy debt, I still, I still feel pretty good about it. I really do. I, I think this is going to work out wonderfully. I mean, our, you know, we've expanded. We're going to have more income and more options of things to do because we also have that huge area, open area now. And I'm kind of thinking about what to do in there. So if anybody has any great ideas of what would be um, wise for us to put in there, please let me know. And we can kind of go with it. And, um, yeah, we're just going to kind of go with it. But I, th I, think the, I think the options are there. I mean, we have all kinds of options because... Um, we can do all kinds of things, but anyways, oh crap, I never thought about it. I bet you the trailer is <laughs> it's too high for the Massey. Oh crap, I can't do that. Oh, that sucks. So now, man, I wonder if the 1550 is high enough for this trailer. Oh crap, well, uh, Sophie, you're just going to have to wait a little bit here, honey. It's okay, Sophie this. And uh, I'll take this up to the hemp field and bring back the truck and the trailer. Okay, Sophie. That's, it it kind of matches, though, nice and red. Oh, you look so cute, honey. I love you in your flannel shirt. Alrighty, 77% full. So we're going to let um, Albert keep doing that. I did get the Mack truck and the Travis end dump up there. That is parked right there. Believe it or not, that's all we've done is that little bit. And I have 31,133 liters of hemp in here. And I think there's another 29,000 liters in the Mack truck. I'm telling you what. This hemp field, this truck also needs service. Yes, I know two things. The hemp field is going to be very profitable. And the Mack in this uh, Chevy truck needs to be serviced. This thing sounds like it's going to die. I mean, it's... Hear that? I don't know. I might have to have Nicholson Farm look at it. And if he doesn't know what's going on, I'm certainly my good buddy, Tiny. He'll know what's going on. Man, that guy can fix anything. But anyways, let's see. We're going to sell this and then get this down to the millet field. So where is the best place to sell hemp right now? 1573 at Cozy Wool. That's not too far from here. 1573. 1579 down at the mill station. Uh, so 1579 at the mill station or Cozy Wool. And we are right here. Cozy Wool is up there. Mill station is straight across. <sighs> well, I mean, not, nothing's on the way because we got to get down here to field 10. So we might just go across here to the mill station. And... Um, We'll sell the hemp. So now i got to keep a record. I have to keep a record of everything that we sell because um, for all this harvest, we will have... Oh, crap, I'm looking that way. We will have to... Uh, let's see, I did this last time. I went down the walking path. And now I'm stuck in the stupid sawmill again. Where, which way am I going? Uh, I'm going back in here. Oh, man. I'm stuck in the sawmill again. Back in the sawmill again. Sorry, I shouldn't sing. Nobody wants to hear that. Oh, I'm trying to get things done here, and now I'm just wandering around in the sawmill. How do you, how do you, how do you get out of here? Um, whoa, building! It's like deja vu all over again. I figure. Let's just go over here to the cozy, cozy wool. I can't believe the cozy wool is buying hemp. But then again, who wouldn't buy hemp? I mean, everybody in the neighborhood here is buying hemp. We haven't been up this way. We are up in the um, northeast. North, northwest, I'm sorry, northwest corner of the map up here, Cozy Wool. Yeah, down right down there is the port. Awesome place. Um, I think that's where that semi with um, our pallets and our lumber has to go to. But let's pull into here. Now, I have to keep I have to keep good records. I, 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 I'm, I'm going to do this by the book. i got to keep good records and uh, see what we get on this. And then we will have to pay. Now, how do I how do I part with this is what I want to know. This is the Cozy, cozy Wool, isn't it? Um, <laughs> question is, how do I how do I give you the hemp? You want to buy hemp? Let me sell you some hemp. I don't. Ooh, what's going on here? Um, look at that. How would you like to be that ladder guy? Uh, don't step down, cause uh, you might hurt yourself. Anyway, uh, pallet suspended pallet. Um, where do I part with the with back up in there? I mean, where do they where do they want this hemp for crying out loud? There doesn't seem to be a spot. Um, hmm, interesting. I lo I love this building though. Cozy wool traditional spinnery. Look at that look at that little tower up there. Eh, that's awesome. Let's see. 
Where do I part with this? That would be the question. Where? Right there. Do I got to back into there? You just want me to dump the hemp on the ground? Hey, that's where you want the hemp. Uh, oh, right there. Okie dokie. Imagination hats, people. Imagination hats. So, um, load number one. I got to write this down here now. How much money we make from this. Uh, 9,648. 9,648 for that little bit. Okay. And then we'll sell. Oh, don't do the don't do the trailer thing. Don't do don't do this don't do this. Come on. Don't don't be a butthead. Sell. Sell. You know this truck has got issues with selling certain things. Oh man, you're gonna you're gonna cause me problems. You're going to cause me issues. Um. Oh, I got. I have been contemplating parting ways with this truck just for this reason, and I think now that it's kind of, it's kind of made up my mind. I I think it's made up my mind. I think this truck is gonna go, gonna go bye bye. Cause we have twenty five thousand liters of hemp here. I want to get rid of, and you won't take it. You won't take it. All right. I decided we're gonna try. We're gonna try the mill station. And hopefully that works, that I can part with it here, because that was, I mean, the, the prices were so close, but um, we'll give it a shot. And if not, um, this truck is going to have to go bye-bye. I mean, I just can't, uh, I love this truck. I, I, I do. But um, it's certainly an issue that I'm having with the truck that it doesn't want to um, part ways with my product. So, come on, please come up, please come up, please come up. Oh, well, if I unhook the trailer, it comes up. So we'll sell that. We'll sell the uh, truck load here. So we have nine thousand six hundred and forty-eight on the trailer, and I tell you what, we're we're, we're going to make a killing. We're going to make a killing on this hemp crop. That we are, and uh, yeah, look at that money. The money is just um, going up. The other thing with the truck is it sure does empty slow. You know what I mean? It's only a little whoop crap. It's only a little grain door here, but I love it. I absolutely love this truck with the. Uh, I would call it like a scissors box lift kind of thing. Yeah, that's that's nice. That is, oh, this is good stuff. This is, well, the hemp, hemp is always good stuff, but the money that I'm making from the hemp is good stuff, even though I have to give 35% of it to um, Joe and 5% to Raymond and 5% to Adrian. 39,491, and that wasn't even close to being a sizable portion. 39,491, okay, I had that written down. So almost $50,000. On that little, um, that little load there. Oh crap! Bring the trailer with us. You know, I don't know what else that I would do. I don't know what else I would do about the Chevy. Um, I really don't have another options. We bought the Mack truck with the big trailer, and I like that setup. But do we need two of them? Um, that's one hundred and forty thousand dollars for that setup. I I think we can get by if we can just um, get this truck uh, the right spots. It's it's it's, it's awesome. It, the truck is working out pretty good for us. So. Now, I know that they have some Russian um, imports that Nicholson Farm Shop Machinery Repair has come up with. So, perhaps if, you know, I don't know, it seems kind of weird in Missouri here to be driving a Russian import. But, you know what? If it works, I guess it works. Okay, let's just get this to field um, 10. Is that what we're doing? Field 10, the millet field. Sophie is patiently waiting for my arrival. And I think there, it will probably call her good there. I mean, I, I think we're way, way, way too long here. But we do, we've done a lot. We've done a lot. We got the bales, the grass bales that we mowed. We got them picked up. They are in the sausage rolls. We, uh, I told you all about our new um, investors in the farm here and what we did with the money. And we are just busy doing harvest. And I'm kind of running around here with my head cut off. Sophie is combining. Albert is up there combining the hemp. And I think John, I think John finally went up there to uh, drive the new Mack truck. I love that truck. And um, Sophie and I are down here. And Raymond, uh, Raymond is going to go and pick up the new Case 950 Cyclo Planner. And we're going to start getting some stuff going on here. Um, this field is going to be oats. According to our rotation, this will be oats. So we get oats planted in that. And... Um, Joe, when Joe gets here, we'll put him to work too. Well, he's kind of a minority owner, so I gotta, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm I still, I still the majority owner, so nobody can tell me what to do for crying out loud. Um, I do whatever I want to do. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern? But 
here's the millet. Sophie, oh, look at how cute she looks in her flannel shirt. She's still here, and she's just patiently waiting my arrival. Sophie, you're getting a tan. Look at that. Even your hair is tanning for crying out loud. But oh well. Oh well. We're here. The millet is uh, being unloaded. Like I said, the, the, this yield is not going to be as good as the hemp. Nowhere near. So we have the millet here on field 10. We have... Um, then we have field 35, just directly south. I think that's lettuce. And then onions over there. And then 33 is spe spelt. So... All kinds of stuff going on, but we'll leave it there. I, I think um, after Sophie just uh, crashes into the trailer and dents up the uh, unloading auger, we'll leave it there. And we're going to pick up right here next time, I think. This is too much fun with all these um, different harvests going on and then some new equipment, but we'll pick up right here next time. Anyways, hope you're having a great Saturday. Hope you had a good week. Enjoy the weekend, and we'll see you next time on Russian Gangers.